Hi you guys, it's me Sherelle here with Lovely Hustles. I have a fun, exciting video for you today. We're gonna be tapping into and learning a new niche, a new spot, a new little something, something, a new hustle. So stay tuned to learn more about it. So today's side hustle that I'm gonna break down for you is mobile bartending. Of course, COVID has changed everything around. Everything is more remote, mobile, virtual, all of that good stuff to where people don't have to commute I mean, there's so many different ways you can do it. You can actually bring your actual business into someone's home, set up, do your thing, or you can actually just have a vehicle that you use as a food truck sense kind of type of thing, like kind of like a food truck. Um, and you can be in your vehicle, your your um, and you can be inside of your own vehicle and they can come to you and you make drinks that way as well. So this can be this can be something pretty big. Stay tuned so I can give you some more ideas and resources and tips on how to get this business started. Okay, so now that I've hopefully got your attention, let's talk about the first step you need to do when starting your business. And that is basically developing the business plan and getting your funding together. It is going to cost money to get this business started, but if you plan ahead, it won't be so much of a headache <laughs> when it is time to put your business together. What is your business plan? What is the name of your business going to be? What are the colors? What is the feel, the aesthetic of your business? Are you traveling? Are you uh, available 24 seven? Do you only work in the evening? So it's a lot of small little things you need to make sure you have in place when it comes to a business such as this money. <laughs> Where are you going to get the money? Do you have reliable transportation? Are you able to be able to buy the supplies and bar supplies that you need? Will you be able to stay in stock with alcohol, your alcohol license, all of that, your state requirements? So make sure that you put all of those things together first so that you at least have a broad outlook on what the steps are going to be to take in order for you to become up and running business. So number two is pretty much kind of what I said in number one, which is make sure that you get all of your permits and licenses together. Every state is different, so make sure you look into this. If you don't, you will get shut down and fined. So I don't think you wanna run into those kind of problems. So make sure that you do look at your permits and guidelines for your state and what is needed and what's necessary. Also, maybe, well, to me, this is a fun part, but you get to get your supplies and your equipment. Also, when you're making this decision, make sure that you consider your brand in a sense because a lot of the the types of things that you buy they represent your brand so let's move on to the next step so if this is a route you want to take then your fourth step will be basically building a good diverse team it's very good to have a good solid team if that's the route you want to go if this is something you want to do solo and you can do everything on your own you can load up your truck pack it up you know, you can do all the inventory yourself. If this is something that you want to run on your own, you definitely have that option as well. But if you do decide to hire someone or have a partner in this business, make sure that you are aligned at all times and that, you know, you both understand the goal and the vision for the business. Next up is something that's popping all the time. Everywhere you go, anywhere you go, you see it and it's marketing. You have to have a strong marketing strategy. So it's always good to have something as big and bold as you possibly can when you have a marketing strategy. That's just on the outside. You can also do door to door. You can um, leave your flyers and cards at liquor stores party stores so there's a lot of places you can go on foot but then there's also online a lot of people are online and they're like this 24 7 so make sure you have a presence online with social media um, facebook and instagram are pretty much like essential for online businesses right now you can also incorporate like tiktok you can incorporate snap chat you can incorporate youtube um you can really do a lot to market your business with youtube you can record videos of what it's like when you do bartend so that people see the experience that they'll get if they hire your business so it's always good to have a good photographer pictures all of that good content is very important when you're marketing because people want to see their experience and you have to give them a good experience through a picture, okay? This is an important step. The next thing you want to do is, yes, you have to network. You got to get outside, okay? Go to the event spaces. Um, look up event planners online and event spaces online as well and just go introduce yourself and say hi this is what I do I would love to work with you partner with you if you ever have 
any clients that need something extra for a party, a wedding, or any event, I'm your girl, I'm your per, or, or your guy, sorry guys, I'm your person, um, I travel, I do this. Have something, a flyer or a card that has all the information that they need to be able to network. Building relationships is easy. Stopping by and saying hi is easy. Go to event spaces, um, your convention centers in your city. Um, it's, it's a lot of places that you can try. Okay, next up, something you want to do, which could turn into a nightmare if you don't do it, is have reliable transportation and have backup. That second part was very important. A lot of us have reliable transportation, so we feel, right? And then you randomly get that flat tire and your transportation is no longer reliable. Do you have a fix a flat in your car? Do you know how to change a flat? Do you have somebody you can call? So you need to make sure that you do have reliable transportation, y'all. Oh, put the oil changes on your car, okay? Every three months, just go get an oil change. All right, take care of your car. Make sure you rotate your tires. Do the basic stuff. Make sure that your transportation is reliable and also have somebody to call. You have a lifeline. So as a mobile bartender, there are a lot of safety issues that could come about because for one, you're dealing with alcohol and <laughs> most likely alcohol licks. So for one, you need to make sure you keep your business safe, you keep yourself safe, and then also the clients as well. It's very important to make sure that you have safety protocols in place for situations, maybe a drink limit at your mobile bar, you know, that you have something like that to always make sure that you account yourself for your responsibilities and then they're accounted for their own as well. With this particular type of business, a lot of the marketing goes into word of mouth. So with that being said, a lot of the feedback is going to come mostly from word of mouth, which maybe you may not hear so much about, but from reviews. It is super important to make sure that you have a place where reviews can go. You need to hear that feedback and you want to hear that feedback because the feedback can be used as now your marketing tools. If they leave a review, if they post pictures about how much fun they had, just reach out to them and say, hey, I'm so glad you had a great time. Do you mind if I use these photos for marketing purposes? And they're probably gonna be like, I don't care. And if they don't wanna use them, that's fine. But you also need to make sure that you get footage as well because this is gonna put your business at the next level. It's gonna show people the experience that they're gonna have. And those reviews are essential because you wanna make sure that your reviews are talking about what you offer, your customer service, how nice you are, what you do, the quality. If you want a, a way to be able to accept reviews, then I would say this little trick is to get a Google My Business page for your mobile bartending business. It is completely free and the website is free too. And the business phone is free as well. Just throwing that in there. Once you have that set up, set up your reviews. So all you have to do is you can take that link Put it onto your digital business card because you should have one if you're a business owner and when you put that link onto your digital business card they can scan your qr code and literally leave you a review that fast you want to make it convenient and fast for your customer okay so hi really quick i wanted to throw in this one cool marketing tip and i have three platforms that you can actually list your business on where people can find you they are Thumbtack, Wedding Wire, Event Detective. I hope I said that right. Okay, back to the rest of the video. So one of the main things that you'll be dealing with when you have your mobile bartending business is uh, vendors. This is where you'll be getting most of your inventory from, your glassware, straws, plastic cup, just all the equipment that you would need, your mixers, anything you need to be able to make drinks with. You need to find a good like warehouse or somewhere like that where you can get all of your equipment and things for like a wholesale discounted price. So I'm gonna give you a list of some of the places you can go to to get bar supplies. You ready? You ready, ready, ready? So this first place is called Websterant Store. There's barproducts.com, beveragefactory.com, and barsupplies.com. Keep in mind that when you are dealing with wholesale stores that a lot of them require you to have some type of a, a specific type of business license. So make sure that you look into your state requirements of what it takes for you to be able to acquire that license so that you can get your products on a wholesale level, which is a much cheaper discounted price because you are buying in bulk. And so my final note for mobile bartending are just a few tips for you uh, to carry along with you to make sure that your business is successful. I just wanted to elaborate on a couple of things that are super important in this particular business. So first, make sure you come through strong with strong marketing. You have to have strong marketing. Make sure that you're constantly putting out information. Make sure that you are 
visible. Make sure that people are able to find you. Google My Business, Yelp. Um, make sure that you're on social media as well. Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Snap. Make sure you have a website. That's a good storefront as well to kind of give a face to your name. So make sure that you have those things, your branding and your marketing strategy in line and in place. It's very important. Professionalism can go a very, very long way. And we all know this because look at Chick-fil-A. They literally make chicken sandwiches. They don't even have this broad, elaborate menu. Everything has chicken in it and it's all the same chicken, just in different sizes. But the professionalism and the customer service is so superb that their line will always stay long. To me, Chick-fil-A has figured it out. They have figured out whatever that secret is for customer service and fast service. And you want that for your business as well. I call it the Chick-fil-A mindset. It's just something I have. But customer service is important. Being professional is super important. And you have to stay that way at all times, even in environments where there are bars and bartenders, because of course, those environments are a little less in control and more out of control. All right, you guys, well, that is all I have for today. I hope you guys look and do a little bit more due diligence. Do your research, okay? I have some great stuff on here and I gave you some really good resources, but make sure you do more research. Your state rules, your guidelines, your licenses, licenses, <laughs> regulations, all that kind of stuff. Make sure you look into that and make sure you have all that stuff aligned. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate the loyalty and I definitely appreciate you guys subscribing as well. My channel has grown so much in just this short amount of time since I've changed over to Lovely Hustles. So I thank you guys for still supporting my channel and watching. Make sure that you check out the other videos I post every single day. So there's something out there you haven't seen yet, I'm pretty sure. But anyways, thank you guys for watching and have an amazing day.